In a video last year, I showed you my uh, cattle working pins, and several people wanted to know more detail about those pins as far as dimensions and whatnot. So I'm going to take you on a little tour here. Um, and first thing we're going to do is take you up in the drone so I can give you a bird's eye view. And then we're going to look at individual measurements. So stay tuned. So when we look at the overall layout, you can see that I've labeled the hay trap uh, right in the center of the complex of pins. And that's where I store my hay during the winter time. And then I've got this holding wing that we drive the cattle into or, or call the cattle into through the gate on the upper left and then gate into another pasture on the lower left. And that allows me to funnel those cattle to the right and into the pin system, the four pins that you can see on that uh, aerial view. So the cattle are in the wing, and as we approach the gate into the pin, um, you can see kind of the overall layout. So pin number one, is the first pin that they come into out of the wing. It's a 40 by 40 foot pin. And then there's a gate between that pin and the second pin, which is also 40 by 40. And these uh, pins have a watering trough in between the two segments. And you can see the watering trough is right in line with the fence so that they can get access from either side from either pin and then you can see the covered area that that covers the crowding system on the right and when we look underneath that roof that roof is slanted um, to the far side and that is a concrete pad underneath the crowding system on the floor of the crowding system. And we'll show you that with a walk through here in just a few minutes. And we've got gates where we can get out of that crowding system after we've uh, closed that gate on the cattle so that we can get access to the outside of the pen. And then as we move forward from pin one to pin two, you can see the start of the chute system. The chute is constructed with a solid uh, sheet metal at the bottom up to about three foot height from the top of the concrete and it'll allow about five head of grown cows to be loaded at the back of the squeeze chute which you can see here. And then we have some eight foot gates at the front of the head catch that allow us to cut cattle either to pin two or pin three or to let them out straight ahead and turn them out to pasture or let them out straight ahead to load them in a uh, trailer. The two gates you see in this pin that are hung by the same pole right in the center of your view there um, can be closed uh, to the chute side and then around to the side uh, right where the camera is and protect the operator of the chute from aggressive cattle or cattle that are otherwise going to be getting in the way. As we move to pin three, this is a 38 by 40 foot pin um, and it's a mirror image of pin two other than the shorter dimension on one side which um, I'm not sure of the reason that we made it that way but nevertheless that's what it measures and you can see the chute side of pin three um, the squeeze chute has a foot release on the operator side that allows that whole side of the chute to 
swing open if a cow goes down in the chute uh, or something of that nature. And then you can see the cutting gates at the front of the chute as well. And then pin four is 26 by 40. It's 12 foot uh, shorter on one side um, as a result of the swing around system that's underneath that allows us to squeeze the cattle and get them into the uh, loading chute part of the system. And there's a, uh, you can see the gate between pin three and pin four, and then the other gate there that uh, will allow the cattle to be uh, slowly advanced into the swing around system and allows you to crowd them and not get in a bind. And it's very safe from an operator standpoint. So just a different perspective from the drone side, you can see how the system is all uh, put together. That barn was there when we built the pen and then we got a, a enclosed area um, at the top of that barn that allows for another uh, area that we can pin the cattle or cut cattle to to get them out of the way while we're working on everything else. So a good system that allows the cattle to be wor worked safely and efficiently. So the drone view gives you some perspective on these pins and um, one of the things that you need to be aware of is that this is all handmade, all hand constructed. These are 12 foot gates at every uh, opening in the pins where the gates are. And you can see we've got all pipe construction. I showed you the latches in a previous video. And this is a very secure latch, easy to operate. You just push it back and forth with your hand. You got a little flip piece of metal here that you can flip over and it catches it so it locks it. But these are pipe constructed gates with the cattle panel welded on the inside. Very, very heavy gauge cattle panel. You can't wiggle it even. Um, heavy duty pipe hinges. And I'm going to do a video on hinges around the farm and some of the construction tips of which I'm not an expert, but I've got some good resources. And so one of the features that I want you to see, and we're going to talk about the chute here in just a minute, but we push them into the chute from the back there. They come into the squeeze chute. But one of the nice things here is I can cut these cattle a couple different ways. They have these gate uh, gates here that actually latch into the head catch. So we welded some flat iron here and it made a little groove to catch that head catch. So we can move that out of the way. And so if we have a cow, cow in there and we want her to come to this pin, then we can leave the other gate latched and that will open and stay open with the chute so it moves as the head gate opens. Um, and this one is actually latched right there. So we can let that cow or calf out through the head catch and they can go into this pin or we can close the one on this side, open this side and let them out into this pin. So that's a very nice feature. The other thing that this setup as configured allows is when I close this gate here and close the other gate and latch it, we got to, um, and then open the head gate, head gate all the way, then that allows us to have a trailer backed up here and open this gate, secure it trailer backs up here and we can load on into the trailer. So that's very nice and very functional. We've got a little bit of a built up concrete pad here so it ramps up to the gooseneck trailers to accommodate for the increase in height of the end of the, the tail end of the trailer. And so uh, very, very helpful. So 
these gates here are eight footers and that works extremely well. As you remember, we pin the cattle in this wing and then bring them through these or through this gate here into this pin. And we have the option of having uh, the gate that's closed across that alleyway there shut here and we can fill these two pins with cattle or we can open up these gates as they are here and move those cattle into these adjacent two pins. And I will tell you from a cattle handling perspective, there this chute system is a lot easier to load from this side. So typically I'm gonna run the cattle from that wing into this pin and then on through here and fill up these two pins and I'll do a lot of the cutting that I have to do out of those two pins. Once we have cattle in the appropriate spot then we're going to run them back towards the chute and we have this gate that will close and it allows us to keep the cattle moving and again it's got slots for the gate to shut there, to shut there, to shut there and then to shut here. And so we have those slots that we can catch. And if we got a big pen of cattle, then we can let them filter through and give us some more room so we're not crowding them too hard. But that gives us some security from the cattle getting back. And then this gate is open and secured back here so that we have access to the uh, swing around area. So I call this gate the swing around because it can follow the cattle as we squeeze them up and then it catches on these um, stops here and it keeps the cattle from getting back and hurting you. So with that rubber stop on that piece of metal and that spring keeps that tight so they can't get past that stop. And so you can just gradually keep swinging it around and you can get them up just as tight as you need. And then they're gonna go into this chute and the dimensions on this chute is 30 inches from here to here. So 30 inches is about right. Now calves will turn around in there and create a little headache for you. But an adult cow and bulls won't. It's wide enough for um, cattle that are in good shape, a.k.a. fat. Um, I did have a really heavy cow in the chute the other day, and the head catch wouldn't open wide enough to get her to let her out easily, and she caught on her hips and she was hung and I was scurrying around trying to figure out what I was going to do to get her loose and she finally kind of wiggled and jiggled and and eased herself out but had that been a real wild cow that that could have been a disaster and as things usually are there's a side release to open the whole side of the sh of the chute but that wouldn't have helped me because she was caught by the hips on the head gate on the head gate so couldn't back her up. I couldn't do anything. But luckily she squeezed through. So that got me to thinking that I probably need to consider changing my chute. I'm um, not sure how I'll manage that scenario, but um, that's one thing that we'll have to think about. So that head gate, that's not open all the way, but when it was wide open, she was still so fat that she, she caught on her hips and she couldn't get loose. So <clears throat> that's my pin setup. Very, very nice set of pins. Um, this set of pins is sufficient to work on a, just a few head of cattle. It's a little bit overpriced for that, for sure. Or you can work on several hundred head of cattle very easily. Um, you just take them in small bunches and work them, work them through the pins and work them through the chute system. So. Plenty of room, works really well. Feel very fortunate to have 
a good system like this. And I hope it gives you some good ideas for how you're going to build your set of pins. And again, this cattle panel welded to the pipe is just stout as can be. And I've put a lot of cattle through this swing around area and they've hit this cattle panel hard and it's not budged. Um, it's just very, very solid construction. So hope that gives you some ideas and I appreciate you all watching. Uh, thank you for riding along with me and hope that you can have an enjoyable time as you improve your place and raise cattle and regenerate the land. Have a great day.